Hi, my name is Jay Prashant Mohan Ram and you are watching Car Talk. So today I'm at the Geo World Center in Mumbai with my colleague Ajish for this baby. This is the Skoda Kailak. It's the first sub 4 meter SUV that Skoda has launched for the Indian market. It's launched at a very competitive price, 7.89 lakh rupees. And uh, now let's dive right into the design of the Kailak and show you why, why it's called an SUV and what, what makes it an SUV. Let's talk about the design now, shall we? The Skoda Kailak features Skoda's new global design language, exemplified by this front grille. It's a glossy finish grille. It's very new. It'll be seen on most Skoda cars, but the Kailak is the first car to get this new design language. It's got LED uh, DRLs just under the bonnet. And on the bumper, you've got these LED headlamps, LED projector headlamps. Interestingly, Skoda says that LEDs are going to be, you know, LED lighting is going to be in all variants. That is something that's very cool about it. Now let's move to the bumper. What I really like is this uh, textured aluminum finish where you generally get uh, satin finish, but this textured finish really gives it that SUV character. That is something that I like. Now moving on, let's talk about the bonnet. There's a lot of sculpting on the bonnet and this bonnet gives it a proper snub-nosed SUV look. So that is something cool about the overall design of the bonnet. Look at the sculpting there. That gives you basically the SUV, you know, appeal. Okay, so that's something cool about the uh, Skoda Kailak. And now let's go to the profile of the car and see how SUV-like it looks from the profile as well. 17-inch alloy wheels, diamond cut. Looks pretty cool. You've got cladding all around. Cladding starts from here, again, matte finish. There's a nice pattern here as well. It's called the hexagon pattern. You've got 189 millimeters of ground clearance, which is plenty, more than enough for Indian conditions. Overall, from the profile, it looks like a baby Kushak, sub four meter, obvious. You've got a typical German flourishes in the design, and there is a nice kink up here. The kink goes into the rear of the SUV. It, it adds, adds some dynamism to the design. And there is a little bit of chrome here. Again, because you are in India, you have a lot of chrome. And finally, these are uh, roof rails. Uh, you can't keep anything here because they're just there, you know. This is a cosmetic addition. But again, a nice matte finish. Overall, it looks very, very SUV-like. Shark fin antenna on top. And this car uh, will be equipped on the top end variants with a sunroof, a regular sunroof. It's not a panoramic sunroof. And now coming to the rear. This is where I'm a little underwhelmed with the design because these tail lamps, look nice but i would have wanted a little bit of more width but i think they wanted to differentiate this suv from the kushak and that's why they've gone with uh, you know smaller slimmer tail lamps overall they look good all led units here and again there is a nice uh, element here and this of course is the new typography that skoda has so this is absolutely new typography on the kylak and now coming to the bottom new bumper i mean this is a brand new bumper of course and the texture again it's got nice texture, it's not a satin finish, so this has got that texture. So a lot of these bits come together to give the Kailak a proper SUV look because they are going to be competing in a very, very competitive segment where you have the Brezza, you've got the Venue, and you've got the Sonnet. So overall, in terms of looks, pretty sharp looking car. It looks like a baby Kushak. So currently I'm sitting in the uh, on the inside of the uh, Skoda Kailak. Uh, overall, uh, in terms of uh, interior layout, etc., this feels a slight step up over the Kushak and that's very surprising for me because this is a much cheaper car but overall the Skoda has done a fantastic job because uh, as you can see there's a bunch of different colors that you know there's a nice interplay between say there's beige here there's a bamboo almost a textile finish here okay that actually you know adds a lot of character I've got a reasonably deep dashboard here and then uh, there is a bunch of colors and these are not soft touch plastics but they look textured and you know that gives adds an element of premiumness and again this is something that you also see on the uh, uh, bigger Skodas like the uh, Kushak and the uh, Slavia uh, the, this is beige this is black uh, so the and this is again satin so the bunch of colors there's a little bit of chrome as you can see here there's chrome here as well uh, the steering wheel is a two spoke steering wheel you got all the functions here uh, you know pretty nice you know, quite Germanic feeling. Okay, that's something cool. Uh, then again, let me just mute this. Okay. So, uh, overall, it's very, very Germanic, the overall design. And uh, this is a top-of-the-line automatic variant. It comes with a six-speed automatic uh, gearbox. Again, uh, it's a torque converter automatic. It's not a... Uh, DSG. There are no DSG here and you also have a manual six-speed. 
Uh, this car is powered by a 1 litre turbo petrol engine, 115 horsepower, 178 newton meters. Again, shared with the Kushak on the lower bottom end, small, you know, cheaper Kushaks. So, that is something. It's a Pepe engine. Skoda says it's going, they are going to do about, I mean, this can do about uh, in the manual variant. A 0 to 110 seconds which is pretty phenomenal it's going to be a very very quick car so and top speed is 188 kilometers so this is actually a quick car so there's no compromise in performance uh, so these are the interior seats feel nice uh, leather seats uh, they've got power both power adjusted uh, you know power adjust uh, for both the driver as well as the front passenger and you can see power adjust working and it also has ventilation for driver and uh, co-passenger nice and supportive seats overall it's, it's a snug driving position I'm five foot seven, and for me, it, I mean, this almost feels perfect. And one more thing, telescopic and tilt. So this is another nice touch because a lot of people, uh, you know, manufacturers don't give you the telescopic at this price point, but Skoda has really managed to do that. And then you also have paddle shifters. Again, an interesting feature and nice texture on the paddles. So they feel good, you know, to the touch. Once we drive it, we'll know. Now let's do the instrumentation bit. You've got a, I think a 20.6 centimeter all, uh, you know, uh, digital display here, which shows you everything, you know, taco, speedo, everything, you know, you know, all the idiot lights, everything's here, completely digital. Uh, then you also have a 25.6 centimeter. It's not floating exactly. There's a touch screen, which is not, you know, raised. I like this because, you know, raised touch screen basically uh, interferes with your view outside. But this is kept, you know, in a very, very convenient position. This is something I like, 25.6 inches. You've got navigation, radio, phone, I think Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, etc., etc. There are a couple of uh, USB-C type uh, charging points here. Then what is this? This is a passenger airbag, uh, you know, a symbol that is on or off. You've got automatic climate control, you know. Uh, I think these are okay these are not touch i think they are touch buttons yeah they are touch and finally uh, yeah this is what you have in terms of and this is the ventilation function for the seats okay it's got a two-way ventilation there's only two stages not three stages like most cars have that's another difference yeah and there is a nice armrest the armrest is not adjustable though though it is adjustable another nice touch clever this is a clever feature Skoda is always uh, talking about you know being simply clever and this is something i like and uh, the door pockets seem to be quite capacious yeah they seem quite wide but we'll have to see how well they are i mean how uh, utilitarian they are that is something we'll have to find out but overall you know there is chrome finish here nice cabin to be in feels quite premium uh, this feels like an expensive car that is something that's good so now I'm uh, sitting in the rear of the uh, Skoda Kylak. Uh, it's a sub 4 meter SUV, so I thought it's going to be a very uh, tight fit here, but I'm 5 foot 7 just for reference and uh, there's enough space. See, there's plenty of headroom. They've scooped everything out here, you know, scooped the roof section, so there's space here. And they've also scooped the seats, so they've, they've done a lot of clever things to actually maximize your leg room. It's not the most, the biggest, uh, uh, say, you know, rear seat, but I think it's, it's good enough because it's a sub 4 meter car so you'll have to remember that there is a nice armrest so this i think is a great car for four people the fifth person is going to be a squeeze because this remember this is not a very wide car and you can see that it's, it's quite narrow so this is basically a four seater just put the armrest here four people they're going to be quite comfortable you know six footers may find it slightly challenging but at least for somebody who's like you know five seven i really can't complain fantastic place to be in of course and now let me show you the sunroof they have a sunroof, electric sunroof here. It's a conventional sunroof and the sunroof adds a bit of airiness. Of course, you've got the beige headline, a little bit of airiness. So overall, it's a quite a comfortable place to be in. Now, let's talk about the boot. Uh, this is a sub 4 meter car. So you generally wouldn't expect a massive boot. But guess what? This is the biggest in segment boot. 446 liter with the seats up. Seats down, you get you get 1,265 liters. That is massive. So somehow Skoda has managed to liberate a lot of space. I don't know how, but Skoda has done it. You know that I think is another clever thing, simply clever thing by Skoda uh, about the boot. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Skoda Kylak for you. Skoda's first sub four meter SUV. Looks impressive. Got it has enough space on the inside. A massive boot loaded with quite a lot of features. Entry price is very good, 7.89 lakh rupees. More prices will be out the coming weeks december 2nd is when bookings open you can pre-book it you know you can express interest to your dealer and you can get some goodies and finally deliveries will start from january 27th 2025 it will also be shown at the bharat auto expo now let us know what you think about skoda's first attempt in the sub four meter suv space like this kind of content you know what to do hit that subscribe button car talk and also hit that notification button and let us know what you think about the skoda kailak